1908, a new century was rising. A century of tremendous inventions and groundbreaking developments. As well as a century that changed the world's face forever. At that time, two young entrepreneurs decided to build an engine. No one imagined that this partnership would ever prosper into an organization that produces for a worldwide audience. Stephen F. Briggs had a creative mind and he convinced Harold Stratton to invest in his ideas. One of them, a starter switch for the automobile industry, which became the early mainstay of the company that incorporated in 1910. In 1919, Briggs and Stratton acquired and took over production of A.O. Smith Motor Wheel. The motor wheel was used as a power source for bicycles and the Briggs and Stratton Flyer, a four-wheeled motorized vehicle comparable to a go-kart. With the motor wheel and subsequent flyer, Briggs and Stratton succeeded in providing consumers with one of the first low-cost means of transportation. It also led into revolutionizing developments and made Briggs and Stratton become the world's largest manufacturer of air-cooled gasoline engines for outdoor power equipment. Cities grew and the BBC provided their first television broadcast when the P engine provided people with a portable and reliable power for things that didn't move by then. Handy things like garden tractors, washing machines, cultivators and generators. Although the times were tough and the world economic crisis already cast a cloud over the world, the company introduced various engine models and acquired Evinrude Motor Company to manufacture outboard marine engines. To accommodate the varied demand for small engines, Briggs and Stratton established a nationwide service organization in 1930. Under the guidance of Charles Coughlin, Briggs and Stratton established design, manufacturing and service as the components to obtain world-class manufacturing status when World War II started to keep the world in thrall. When the war was over, people ached for a peaceful life, for example in their gardens. Suburbs began to grow and the enjoyment came back into people's lives. The music experienced a turning point, as well as Briggs and Stratton did. The company developed the first lightweight aluminum engine in the mid-50s that set the bar for engines today. 1957, the aluminum engine accounted for 80% of engines shipped, and Briggs and Stratton reached a production amount of 2 million per year. Fred Stratton led the company into the flowery 60s and 70s, and Briggs and Stratton flourished. The world's spirit changed, and the delightful president represented a lot of the company spirit. In a time of good valued engineering, when mankind started to ascertain space and stepped on the moon, CEO Vince Sheely knew that the company's success depended on a variety of excellent quality products. New product lines suited the needs of the market. But the power equipment industry suddenly changed dramatically. The fuel shortage of the 70s, as well as Japanese competitors, prompted Briggs and Stratton to look into the development of electric motors and made the company to be one of the first developers of a gasoline electric hybrid automobile in the early 80s. But nevertheless, the demand for lower prices and even greater product diversity forced Fred Stratton Jr. and John Sheely to manage this critical challenge with a reorganization of the company in the early 90s. New efficient product focused facilities were built all over the U.S. and several new lines of newly designed and improved engines had been introduced to defend the company's leadership position in its traditional lawn and garden equipment market. In a time when walls were brought down and the computer started to step outside of the offices, Briggs and Stratton expanded as well. To reach foreign markets, the company entered alliances with Daihatsu Motors and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and re-established its presence in the premium engine business. Briggs and Stratton's current chairman and CEO John Sheely and President and COO Todd Teska 
created the vision of the company, the power within. This vision speaks to the commitment Briggs and Stratton's employees make when they work to provide power for all people. And of course, it speaks to the countless products powered by Briggs and Stratton. To grow its business and to even better serve customers within the regions, Briggs and Stratton built production facilities in China and Europe. The company created the most efficient distribution to value dealers and retail customers as the backbone of its service strategy. Currently, as a global integrated leader in both the engine and outdoor products industry, the company sets the stage for continued success through its powerful solution strategy. And still, backed with 100 years of experience, Briggs and Stratton continues in its tradition to develop, to grow, and to offer the latest technologically advanced engines for outdoor power equipment. Let's step into the next hundred years with the power of innovation.